Have you ever wondered what superhero costumes and uh, parachutes have in common? Nope. It's not magic, it's science. More specifically, synthetic fibers. Today we are going to explore how scientists created rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Fibers that have totally changed the way we dress and live. So let's dive in. Let's start with rayon, the artificial silk. But hey, why is it called artificial silk? Why is rayon called artificial silk? Well, the real silk comes from the silkworm which makes it super expensive. So scientists thought, hmm, can we make something similar but cheaper? And guess what they did? Rayon is made from wood pulp. Yes, soft wood like uh, eucalyptus, spruce or pine trees is turned into a paste. And after some chemical magic, we get rayon fibers. And what's the cool part? The cool part is that the rayon fabric that we make looks and feels like silk. And where do we use rayon? Clothes, saris, suits, pants and even frocks are made of rayon cotton blend. Bed sheet curtains and pillow covers because who doesn't love soft and durable fabric? Bandages. Rayon gauze is better than cotton because it comes off wound easily. And rayon fibers are used in the manufacture of motor tires, hose pipes, conveyor belt, etc. Pretty cool, right? Yes. Now, let's talk about something stronger than steel. That is nylon. The super strong fiber. Alright, so imagine a rock climber hanging onto a rope. What if the rope snapped? Nobody wants to be in that situation, right? Yes, that's why they use nylon ropes because nylon is super strong and elastic. Nylon was invented in 1931 in New York and London. And here is the fun fact. Its name comes from N from New York, Y from York, L O N from London as nylon. Now, unlike plant fibers or animal fibers like cotton, silk, wool, etc., nylon is man made. Nylon is made using coal, water, and air by scientists in a laboratory. Right? So, nylon comes under the category of synthetic fibers or artificial fibers. Let's now discuss why and where do we use nylon? or in another terms, the properties and uses of nylon. It is stronger than steel. That's why it is used for rock climbing rocks, to make parachute drops like this, and fishing nets. It is elastic as well, and this property is made use in uh, making seat belts, then elastic bands which we are all familiar with, and even the toothbrush bristles. And here is an interesting another property, doesn't absorb much water. So, it is perfect for raincoats and umbrellas. Basically, if you need something strong and durable, nylon is the way to go. Have you ever had a shirt that just never wrinkles? No matter how much you wear it, chances are it's made of polyester. And hence, they are called the wash and wear fabric. Polyester is a man-made fiber created from chemicals called esters. It's a it comes under the category of polymers, poly meaning many and mer meaning units and here many ester units combine together to form polyester. It's famous for being strong, durable and low maintenance. And why do people love polyester? Because of its properties and uses such as no wrinkles. That's why people call it wash and wear fabric. You just have to wash and wear it, no need to iron it out of the wrinkles. It's lightweight and dries quickly, making it perfect for sportswear and raincoats. Terilin, a type of polyester, is used for making sweaters, blankets and rugs. And guess what? A special type of polyester called PET is used in making audio tapes and plastic bottles. So yeah, nylon is pretty awesome. It's super strong, flexible and used in all sorts of things from audio tapes to plastic bottles to sweaters and sportswear. But what if you need something that feels warm and woolly? That's where acrylic, the artificial wool comes in. Ever seen those uh, crazy woolen sweaters in winter? Guess what? Many of them are in real wool. They are made of acrylic fiber. Acrylic is a man-made fiber or synthetic fiber that looks and feel like wool but costs way less. 
It is also lighter and doesn't shrink like real wool. That's why sweaters, shawls and blankets are often made from acrylic. It is used for knitted window clothes because it is cheaper than the real wool. So next time you buy a warm and fussy sweater, check the label. There's a good chance that it's acrylic, not wool. Let's quickly wrap this up. We started with rayon, which is made from soft wood and which looks and feels like silk. Hence it's called artificial silk. You'll find it in saris, frocks, blankets and even bandages. Then came nylon, the super strong and elastic making it perfect for fishing nets, rock climbing ropes and parachutes. And thanks to its elastic properties, it is also used in seat belts, elastic bands and even toothbrush bristles. Next we looked at polyester, the most common synthetic fiber out there. Ever had a shirt that never wrinkles? Yep, that's polyester. Polyester is made from esters combining together to form many ester units called polyester. Wrinkle-free nature makes it a perfect fabric for wash and wear where you do not have to iron your clothes. It's lightweight and dries quickly making it perfect for sportswear and raincoats. And did you know that it comes in two special types? Terylene and PET. Terylene is used to make blankets, rugs and sweaters whereas PET which is used in plastic bottles and audio tapes. Finally, we talked about acrylic, also known as the artificial wool, which looks and feels like wool but costs way less. It is lighter and doesn't shrink like the real wool, so you'll get all the warmth without the hassle. That's why it is used in sweaters, shawls and blankets. Pretty amazing, right? Synthetic fibers are everywhere, making our lives easier, warmer and more comfortable. Take a look around. Check the labels on your clothes, blankets or even your raincoat. Can you spot any of the synthetic fibers that we learned today? Let me know when you find it.